Okay, I was asked this question on spiritual blindness. Fantastic question. Probably the most important question I can be asked. Because um, Jesus Christ said, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Buddha said, you know, they're all ignorant. Um, and um, Hawkins, who's the latest avatar, um, and I, re I, re I strongly recommend him to everyone, and his muscle testing and the calibrations to keep students um, as safe as is allowed with what's allowed to be revealed to humanity um, of um, spiritual blindness. Now, the thing is, the avatars, um, they're not allowed to tell you the full truth. So, you know, the, the, um, the Garden of Eden, um, uh, the uh, genesis from uh, the, uh, the um, Bible, calibrates at 600, i.e. calibrates at a high level of truth using muscle testing. So the fall from uh, the non-dual heavens to the du duality and choosing a world where evil exists was um, meant that um, ignorance or blindness is extreme in this world. Uh, as Jesus Christ said, um, beware the wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, through Hawkins' research, 85% um, of the human population calibrates below integrity. In the West, it's probably over 50% calibrate below integrity. All these lovely people uh, uh, in, the, in, in the UK, 50% will rip you off. And in other countries, probably 90% of the people will rip you off. Uh, so um, you can't tell, and you have no capacity to tell who's honest from who's dishonest. Um, so... Uh, you are extremely blind. You're also extremely blind um, to every, everything. Your ego has no capacity. Um, and this, unfortunately, I mean, they're not allowed to reveal too much, but uh, I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ has revealed quite a lot. I mean, he talked about Lucifer. He talked about the wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, he told people um, that, the consequences of all your actions will um, uh, uh, mean that your fate on death was where you're going next. So that's pretty hefty material. Um, and uh, he said, I like this, because if you sort of understand the world at greater depth, then you'll understand that um, to waste no time, you know, to spend one's whole life watching Netflix and eating donuts, when Jesus Christ said, um, build your treasures in heaven rather than earth, um, you know, it makes sense because the destiny of my soul and is purgatory. So it's like a school where, you know, uh, if I'm given a good, good opportunity and good teachers like David Hawkins or Jesus Christ, then um, to just ignore that and watch Netflix uh, and then die and make a lot of spiritual errors is probably not the wisest thing to do. But okay, but the important thing, which uh, uh, the teachers really can't tell you how blind you are, but you're extremely blind. I mean, Hawkins has basically said, yeah, the ego has zero capacity to tell truth from falsehood. So, I mean, that's extremely blind. And unfortunately, um, uh, uh, most of the world is negative. It wants to trap you in negativity. And it can do more sophisticated things. Uh, there are energies and things that can um, can do um, things as well that will uh, especially um, uh, snare anyone who wants to evolve rapidly spiritually or spiritual teachers. So, I mean, Hawkins is more or less indicated, and uh, it's true. Most of the spiritual teachers out there have already fallen. The majority have fallen, which is why... Um, I recommend and endorse Hawkins. Because I mean, you don't have to listen to me. See, if you want to see Master Zumba from the Amazon, go ahead. You know, I haven't got any problems. But uh, if you want to ask me, who do I? What would I? Who, what would I say to stay safe? I'd say, stick with Hawkins and his teachings. He recommends um, if you've got addictions, twelve steps, the Big Book. Uh, for the first let to get to the first level, six hundred of enlightenment. Just do the lessons from A Course in Miracles. Even that lesson, all my thoughts are meaningless. And then his own teachings will take you all the way up to enlighten, the highest levels of enlightenment. 
Um, he was the latest. I, I recommend listening to Hawkins nonstop. That's what I recommend. You know, you can do what you like. Uh, I'm not uh, telling anyone what to do, but I recommend listening to Hawkins nonstop because uh, the consciousness of humanity went above 200 at, in 1987. So it went above integrity. Therefore, the next avatar that came on the planet was allowed to reveal more spiritual information uh, than the previous avatars were allowed to through the muscle test. So more of the uh, blindness that was humanity was denied access to, um, I'd say because of the fall in the Garden of Eden, um, uh, more of that information that we've been blinded to, we're now allowed to. But unfortunately, um, um, it's not that much more, but it, it's a bit more. And um, for the masses, even though if you have an advanced spiritual teacher uh, or you have access to a good muscle, a kinesiologist. Uh, so if you've got the good karmic merit to have a very good spiritual teacher uh, that hasn't fallen and also a good muscle tester who's integrous, um, those type of things will more or less guarantee um, your safety uh, from making spiritual errors. Uh, from which this world is uh, full of spiritual errors uh, ease and temptations. So um, it's good to, um, that's why I'm sort of saying what I'm saying, you know, st stick to Hawkins, high calibration music. Now, how do you know? How do you know if, if a picture, you know, like um, a picture of Jesus Christ uh, or Hawkins will make your arms go very strong with the muscle test, kinesiology? means your acupuncture meridians, your health, um, your spiritual connection all goes extremely strong every time you look at a picture of Hawkins or Christ. Now, if you want to stick adult pictures of Adolf Hitler all over the wall and Nazi swart stickers everywhere and buy all the Nazi and Gestapo books and have them in your house, every time you look around the house, your energy, energy meridians will collapse. You'll go into a negative uh, calibrating vibration, you'll start tuning into thoughts and ideas um, which are aligned with that energy field. And uh, you don't, I mean, I won't go into it, but you don't know where you'll end up because you're tuning into fields you don't want to tune into. Um, on a, Addicts know this. If you go into a CD place and you associate with CD people and you listen to CD music for long enough, you'll tune into that vibration and you'll just be doing all the destructive things of your environment. Uh, and if you're unconsciously don't know what you're doing, you'll end up doing that and you won't know what happened. So uh, so how do you protect yourself? Well, take it, I mean, if you don't want to be, if you want to protect yourself, uh, surround yourself nonstop with um, the highest teachers, uh, the highest music and avoid anything which can, and that can be clothes, music, uh, 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 like a uh, cathedral's calibrator, you know, uh, Saint uh, Westminster's Cathedral calibrates at 700. You know, probably a gangster rave club, uh, where they're just doing drugs all day long, Pro probably, well, you know, could probably calibrate something like 130 below integrity. So, um, I don't advise you know, meditating in a rave club. Uh, <laughs> I'm making a joke there. I mean, Westminster Cathedral, we better, you know. You know, thousands of people for hundreds of years have been praying to God and it's been sanctified and prayed in uh, to God. So it will aid your spiritual thing. Clothes. I mean, cl clothes made by someone below integrity. Um, it's kind of obvious. I mean, they're calibrating below integrity. The clothes will calibrate below integrity. Um, the music they make will calibrate, you know, if there's someone's making gangster rap music, you know, to kill everyone and uh, and, buy, and be a drug dealer and be important, you know, it's not calibrating very high. And if they make some clothes like how to, you know, kill kill the leadership and anarchy rules, uh, that that's calibrating low. And if you go to places where these people associate, that's calibrating low. So, you know, you don't know this stuff, but uh, if you um, there's a great book, uh, Hawkins' Truth versus Falsehood. He calibrates cathedrals, music, spiritual teachers' teachings. It's eye-opening, like the the Bible. Um, uh, most of the Old Testament calibrates negative. 
where it's talking about the pun punishing God. But uh, the New Testament, most of it's calibrating positive. So you don't know this. You're totally blind. You don't know in history what's been happening behind the scenes with all these spiritual texts and the distortions that have been added. So without muscle testing, you're blind and hundreds and millions of people have been led down the wrong pathway. Um, now, there's more esoteric stuff uh, as well. Um, so how you protect yourself um, from that stuff? Well, uh, um, as some of you are doing, listening to Hawkins nonstop, praying earnestly for guidance nonstop. It's like even if um, things are trying to set you up in a negative direction, uh, that earnestness and that vigilance in your and yet that devotion more importantly is your devotion in your heart are you aligned with divinity are you 100 percent aligned with divinity and sacrificing all ego payoffs to to divinity to god uh, everything put it all on the chopping block and earnestly pray for guidance at all times then most likely the guidance will come in some shape or form a teacher a kinesiologist or something will come and also, because you're aligning your consciousness at very high levels, also doing service as well, helping others. You're, you're, um, I love what Hawkins says, very simple. It's like you have a spiritual bank account. You just do lots of service. You tune yourself to the highest vibration at all times. And that devotion to, to God will mean that when you're um, in trouble, forces will come to your aid. Uh, I mean, if you're an asshole most of the time, and just watching Netflix, sorry, I shouldn't have said that on the video, but anyway, uh, watching Netflix and eating donuts and not being of any good, then probably, you know, when you're in trouble, no one's going to come and help you. So, uh, you know, so that that's a, a great thing. You know, uh, the other thing which I think is really, really important, if you want to be useful, the most powerful way that you can earn good karma for yourself and the world is to raise your own consciousness. Forget trying to tell people that they should behave better. Raise your own consciousness by deleting your ego through Hawkins' work. Dissolve all your ego positionalities, your grievances, um, and everything within yourself. Don't try and fix the world. Release your ego. One avatar counterbalances, I don't know, 70 to 100 million people in negativity. A uh, person at unconditional love, maybe, I'm making, these numbers are rough, 90,000. Someone at 200 going on a parade telling people to behave themselves doesn't do anything for the world. So those activists that go around shouting and screaming, so that, that doesn't do anything. So um, spiritual blindness. So I think a good teacher, really, a good teacher, um, if you uh, pray from a kinesiologist, um, you need good karma to get a good teacher. You're not going to get it by accident and a good kinesiologist. Those two things will protect you enormously from blindness because they'll be able to tell you that things that the masses can't be not allowed they are not allowed to hear. Uh, when you be, especially when you become advanced students, you, there's things you need to know that you won't get normally. Um, and um, on spiritual blindness as well, be true in your heart and remember the spiritual bank account and keep your um, everything that you you become aware that your ego wants, put it on the chopping block and go through the withdrawal. Uh, and uh, more and more, your devotion will mean that um, when you need the help, the help and the guidance uh, will come. So I think uh, that's the thing. What I would say is that, um, unfortunately, um, yes, spiritual blindness, people are more blind than they know. And even those that know a bit, are still very, very blind. So it's good to have humility. Don't get into spiritual pride and arrogance like I'm amazing and uh, I can put my guard down now. I wouldn't do that, especially if you're advanced because you um, you may come a crop up. Okay. Uh, pressing stop.